All right, <clears throat> so the first um, set of data that we're going to be looking at is for histograms. So histograms is creating what kind of looks like a bar graph, but it's a vertical bar graph. And it says, um, so the data that we have is 20 essays were written for an English exam. The number of words included in the exams is listed below. So we look at number of essays is on the left-hand side, number of words is on the right-hand side. So we're going to look at what our range goes from. Well, I see that I have 100, and then I'm going to go up by 10s. So 110, 120, 130, 140, and 150. And we're going to find, so how many um, are between 100 and 110? So I have 1, 2, 3 that are between 100 and 110. So between 100 and 110 is right here. And then between 110 and 120. So 1, 2, 3... We're going to include the 110 for this one, 4. And then between 120 and 130, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then between 130 and 140, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. And finally, between 140 and 150, there's 1, one 2, sorry. And for some reason, we don't have enough room on this one, so we actually have one more, and it's between, sorry, so we did this one. Um, we have one more, and it's between 150 and 160, and that is the 156. So a histogram is basically creating a vertical um, bar graph. So the times in seconds to download 30 apps as given below display the times in a histogram. So we have to look at the data that we're given. Well, the smallest number is um, between 10 and 20, and I'm going to go up by 10s again. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So between 10 and 20, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Looks like I have 4 between 10 and 20. Between 20 and 30, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it goes all the way up to 11. Between 30 and 40, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Between 40 and 50, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Between 50 and 60, I have 1, 2, 3, And my last one, between 60 and 70, I have 1, 2. So now that we've kind of done two histograms, we're going to be looking at uh, dot plots. Dot plots are um, 
which I kind of think it's silly that they're called dot plots because you're really putting X's in place. But you look at the numbers you're given and how many times does that number appear. So I have a 9, an 8, another 8, a 6, a 7, a 6, a 4, a 10, 11, 10, 8. So, and then you have two more 8s, another 7, a 9, a 10, two more 6s, and a 9. So total, you should have one 4, four 6s, three 7s, five 8s, three nines, three tens, and one 11. The purpose of box or dot plots is to see where the concentration is. So it looks, it's not much different than the histogram. It's just a simpler way to record your data. So the ages of the top two finishers for American Idol seasons one through 12 are listed below. So we have 20, 23, 25, 24, 16, 19, 21, 29, 29, 21, 17, 25, 25, 17, 23, 27, 23, 23, 17, 16, 21, 16, 23, and 22. Pretty simple. And then 10 mayors recorded the number of sunny days experienced in their cities last summer. We have an 80, 77, 78, 80, 79, 79, 79, 80, 80, and 81. Box plots are the most intense of the um, data that we're, we're using. So we're going to make a box plot of the algebra test scores below. So the first thing that we need to do is identify the maxima. So the maxima means the highest number. You will see that the maximum is 100. So we're going to put a dot at 100. Then we need to, um, one of these should say minimum. We need to identify the minimum, so the lowest score. Well, the lowest score is 60, so we're going to put another dot. So everything that we're recording is going to be between 60 and 100. The next thing we need to do is we need to find the median. The medium, median is the very middle number. So that means we're going to have to list them in order. So our smallest number is 60. Our next smallest number is 65. Our next smallest number is 72. Then we have 75, another 75, 77, 80, 81, 83, another 83, 89, 90, 95, 98, and 100. It's really important to go through and make sure you have the same amount of numbers. There should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 numbers. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 numbers. Now, to find the median, I don't know how many of you have taken driver's ed or talked to your parents about driver's ed or what the median of the road means. The median means the very middle number. So the very middle number of 15 will be the eighth number, which means you will have seven on each side. So we find the eighth number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So I should have 7 on each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 81 should be our median. And I'm going to put that point here. Then we have to find, so we found our median. Now we need to find our quartile 1 and our quartile 3. What that means is you're now finding the median. So this is of everything on the left and the median of everything on the right. So the median of everything on the left, so since I have 7 on the left, it's going to be the fourth number. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So our median of our first one, so our quartile 1, is going to be 75. And then we do the same on the right-hand side. So it's going to be the fourth number. That's going to be our quartile 3. So we have our Q3, our Q1, our median. We have our minimum and our maximum. So now we're going to create this into a box plot. The quartile 1 through quartile 3 is everything that's within the box. And everything else is an outlier. So there is your box and whisker plot. So we're going to try this again. So what I'm going to have you do is I want you to first list them in order from smallest to largest. So our smallest number is 85. Our next smallest number is 90. Then we have 92 and 93. 95, 104, 105.6, 107, 120, 128, and 149. And again, make sure you have the right number of um, speeds. So we're going to start with our minimum. Our minimum is 85. Our maximum is 149. Then we need to find our median. So if I have 14 total, it's going to be halfway between the seventh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to go right here. In order to find that number, we actually have to find the average of those. So the average of 95 and 104, so you take 95 plus 104, then we divide it by 2, and we get 99.5. So it's going to go approximately right here. Next, we find quartile 1. So it's halfway between 85 and 95, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's going to be the fourth number, 1, 2, 3, 4. So quartile 1 is going to be at 90. And then quartile 2 is halfway between 104 and 149, so it's the fourth one. So quartile 2 is going to be at 107. And we now create our box and whiskers. So here is our box and our whisker. So Q1, Q3, and our median. So we're going to do a quick comparison of our data displays. So a dot plot is easy to get a visual sense. So easy visual. It's quick to make, what's up, um, and it's useful for small quantities. So small quantities, it's good. Where it's kind of hard is you need to count for exact total. 
and it's not useful for large quantities. Now for the histogram, it shows the distribution. And it's, it's great when there's a large range of data. But you don't have the individual, individual data. And finally, the box plot. The box plot is nice for comparison. Easy to identify outliner, outliers. And it's really nice to find your Q1, Q3, and median. But there's the exact data is lost.